We are in the middle of a set of experiments to demonstrate how to generate a product using biotechnology. First, we engineered E. coli to make green fluorescent protein, GFP. Next, we will scale up production using cell culture. And finally, we will purify the product using chromatography. For this part of the experiment, we will be preparing an agarose gel to use for gel electrophoresis. Following amplification of the gene of interest using colony PCR, gel electrophoresis will allow us to visually confirm that the GFP is present. First, set up the gel caster. Level the gel caster. Place the open edge of the 7 by 7 cm UVTP tray against the fixed wall of the gel caster. To seal the open tray ends, turn the peg in either direction until resistance is felt. This action seals the edges of the tray for casting. Place the comb into the appropriate slot in the UVTP tray in the gel caster. Retrieve the bottle of agar from the 60 degrees Celsius water bath. Transfer 25 milliliters of agar to the UVTP tray. Allow to solidify for 20 to 40 minutes. Once solidified, carefully remove the comb from the gel. Disengage the cam peg by turning and lifting upward. Remove the tray from the gel caster. You may need to use a spatula to break the seal. If storing overnight, moisten the gel with electrophoresis buffer and wrap in plastic wrap. The gels can then be stored in a refrigerator until the PCR samples are ready for gel electrophoresis. Hey, we hope you like this video. This is part of the series GFP production for my bioprocess engineering class. We would like to acknowledge the kit from Edvotech, Edvo kit number 323, GFP transformation extension colony PCR that this work is based off of. Click the link below to visit the kit website.